hi everyone welcome back to our channel uh, in this video i will give another problem on false position method false position method is also known as regular false method see see the statement of the problem apply false position method to find a positive real root of the equation x cube minus x minus 4 is equal to 0 as usual first of all let us denote the given equation with the f of x so let f of x is equal to x cube minus x minus 4 is equal to 0 take it equation number 1 so first of all we have to investigate the initial approximations for required root that purpose sets the values sets the functioning values so what is f of 0 f of 0 means uh, substitute x value 0 in this equation so 0 cube minus 0 minus 4 minus 4 which is less than 0 which is negative f of 1 f of 1 means whenever we have x in this equation replace it by 1 so you will get 1 minus 1 minus 4 so plus 1 minus 1 getting cancelled you will get negative again so calculate f of 2 okay so 2 cube 8 minus 2 minus 4 which is 8 minus 6 so positive so from these two observations we conclude that required root of the given equation lies between 1 and 2 okay according to the intermediate value there but it is better to calculate functioning value at the midpoint of 1 and 2 which is 1.5 so you will get f of 1.5 is 1.5 whole cube minus 1.5 minus 4 substitute in the given equation x is equal to 1.5 it's enough so by using scientific calculator we can find out this one see 1.5 whole cube minus 1.5 minus 4 is equal to this one you can write in this way so minus 2.125 which is negative so we are observing that f of 1.5 is negative and uh, f of 2 is positive so by intermediate value theorem by intermediate value theorem required root of point root of given equation 1 should lies between 1.5 and 2 so these are known as these are known as initial approximations you can take this is a and this is b once again you, you should write what is f of a here f of a is nothing but f of 1.5 which is minus 2.125 and uh, f of 2 is equal to 2 see this one okay so therefore by regular falsi method by regular falsi method the next the next better approximation of required root of required root is x1 Okay, initial approximations are always denoted with A and B. After that, the next better approximation is denoted with X1. Okay, uh, what is the formula for next better approximation in regular falsi method, otherwise in false position method? Uh, A into f of B minus B into f of A over f of B minus f of A. Substitute the values. What are that values? What is A? 1.5 of f of B is 2. So here here a b value is also 2 2 times of f of a which is minus minus is nothing but take our side minus here minus of minus plus so you will get 2.125 over 2 minus f of a again it is minus so 2 plus 2.125 okay now we can find this value by using scientific calculus. So take this one 1.5 times of 2 plus 2 times of 2.125 close the brackets and write the denominator 2 plus 2.125 is equal to so this is 1.7575 now we can substitute this value in the given equation if it is 
zero, then 1.7575 satisfies the given equation. This means that this is the required rule. The problem will completed with this one. So calculate f of 1.7575, which is um, 1.7575 whole cube minus 1.7575. Whenever we have x in this equation, blindly replace this value minus 4. Again, we use scientific calculator to evaluate this one. See. So, 1.7575 whole cube minus 1.7575 minus 4 is equal to. So, this one minus 0 0.3289 which is negative. This is not exactly 0. That is why 1.7575 is also not your root. Okay. Uh, we are going to find out next better approximation. So, clearly now root lies between now root lies between the new approximation 1.7575 and uh, already uh, we got the functioning value at positive is 2. Okay. At 2 we got positive. So, so, this is A, this is B. Every time you can take the new approximation as A. Okay. See one thing here. So, first of all, we are observing that our root lies between 1.5 and 2. So, this is 1.5 and 2. So, after that, this point moves to 1.7575. Okay. After that, in the next approximation, it moves to another term. So, in this way, we can reach the original root. Okay, this is the actual procedure. Okay. So, the next better approximation is A into f of b minus b into f of a over f of b minus f of a is equal to what is a value? A is 1.7575 new value of what is f of b? f of b is always 2. minus 2 times of f of a. Recently, we got this one minus. So, you can write here plus 0 0.3289 3 over f of b minus f of a is nothing but directly you can write these two terms 2 minus of minus plus 0 0.3289. Just all values on this paper just simply you can substitute these all values in this one in this formula okay see the calculation so 1.7575 times of 2 plus 2 times of 0 0.3289 close the bracket and write in the denominator 2 plus 0 0.3289 is equal to so we are getting 1.7917 okay now we will substitute this x2 value in the given equation again if it is exactly 0 we can stop the problem with this step because this is the required root okay see the f of x2 now therefore f of x2 is equal to 1.7917 whole cube minus 1.7917 minus 4. So, use the scientific calculator again to evaluate this one. So, 1.7917 whole cube minus 1.7917 minus 4 is equal to it becomes again negative minus 0 0.0400 which is negative so we have to find out another better approximation also okay so before finding the next better approximation x3 we should understand that now required root lies between required root lies between new approximation which is uh, 1.7917 and 2. 
okay because previously we got the functioning value is positive at a 2 only okay that's why so the next better approximation is x3 it is not necessary to write the formula at every time if you are interested you can write it no problem a into f of b minus b into f of a over f of b minus f of a so that is equal to substitute the values a is a is nothing but new approximation which is 1.7917 of 2 minus b is also 2 what is f of a uh, recently we got this functioning value minus 0 0.0400 over 2 minus already f of a is negative so minus of minus plus 0 0.0400 it is not necessary to write this 0 c of okay see the next one 1 point you take this symbol and uh, 1.7917 of 2 minus of minus plus directly 2 times of 0 0.04 um, double 0 close the bracket and write in the division 2 plus 0 0.04 double 0 is equal to so you will get 1.7957 okay now calculate f of x3 what is f of x3 1.7957 whole cube substitute this value in the given equation minus 1.7957 minus 4 see so 1.7957 whole cube minus 1.7957 minus 4 still it is negative so but uh, see the value it is uh, minus 0 0.005 because this is the scientific form of a number so whenever we have some number into product uh, into 10 to the power of minus 3 this uh, 5 is the third decimal place after the point so you can write for 5 3 also okay now still uh, we, we did not get the 0 so that's why we can find out the next better approximation also so now required root lies between required root lies between the new approximation which is 1.7957 and the 2 because already in previous steps we, we got functioning value at 2 is only positive so you can take the new approximation as a and this is p so what is x4 now a into 1.7957 into f of b f of b is 2 minus 2 b is uh, only 2 minus of minus this is plus 0 0.0053 over 2 plus 0 0.0053 f of b minus f of e so again see this value so use this symbol 1.7957 of 2 minus of minus plus is there 2 times of 0.0053 close the brackets and write in the denominator 2 plus 0.0053 okay, is equal to so you will get 1.7962 okay now calculate f of x4 so you will get 1.7962 whole cube minus 1.7962 minus 4 so so bracket over 1.7962 oh sorry 1.7962 whole cube minus 1.7962 Seven nine six two minus four is equal to. So again, it becomes negative, which is minus zero point double zero one zero, which is negative. Okay, almost we approach the root because this is almost zero. Uh, if you feel bored, you can take this is the required root. Required root, no problem. But uh, I want two successive approximations are same. Okay, now required root required root lies between 
the new approximation 1.7962 and 2 so calculate x5 so you will get 1.7962 of 2 minus 2 times of functioning value of a which is minus of you can take this is a and this is b every time no problem so minus of minus plus 0 0.001 over 2 plus 0 0.001 is equal to so see this one 1.7962 times of 2 plus 2 times of 0 0.001 close the brackets and write in the denominator 2 plus 0 0.001 okay see is equal to so 1.7963 we are observing that in x5 and in x4 first three decimal places are same 1.796 and this is also 1.796 forget the fourth decimal place so we are observing that x4 is approximately equal to x5 hence we can take hence we can take required root as required root as 1.796 right in the bracket approximately this is not an exact root because it does not satisfy the given equation uh, if we substitute this value in the given equation almost we get the 0 